For uh, 11 years, I had a small hotel in the Caribbean off the coast of Nicaragua. And uh, this is a poem I wrote for the travelers who came through there. It's called, My Advice to Pilgrims. My advice to pilgrims is tread lightly. Be fluent in the languages of silence. Show kindness to the least of those you meet along the road. And give up your seat on the train to the lame and to the blind, but also to the power-hungry Pharisee who believes a little comfort will ease his monkey mind. Or just stay the hell home. Don't go, not unless you're willing to meet hunger and thirst and loneliness with the same reckless abandon as a she-wolf taking winter on. You see, we can't really make a journey when crippled with the vision. Instead, we must be willing to allow the horizon to swallow us whole. So smash your idols against the rocks and let the graven image burn. Yes, the very one you worship with all your heart and with all your soul. Because if you really want to be a pilgrim, you're going to have to let that shit go. Yeah. be a long night if I'd be a while before we see the light of a day again tell me now are you down are you down to do this thing how deep is your faith how strong your belief cause it could be a long night I mean this could really knock some time off your clock you know what I'm saying? I'm not playing. Like a melting candle of pain, we're gonna need to burn away every little thing that no longer matters, cause it could be a long night. I'm talking about your dignity. I'm talking about your safety. Well, these are illusions. You will see long before we ever see the light. Everything you ever cared about, all the things you thought you'd never doubt. Well, all of this will be driven out, and it could be a long Be alone. 